He makes some jokes while he shoots his gear. Major Slack is a real wide wire. Major Slack attack. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Yeah, shut up, Pee Wee. All right, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Major Slack attack. Your first off for titillating tactical gaming. Let's walk through some more Skyrim on legendary difficulty. My name is Major Slack. Your name is Hardcore Slacker number 1573. And let's do it to it. In this video, we're going to power level enchanting up to 100, okay? And we're also going to power level destruction up to 75, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm in a position to buy destruction skill training a whopping 15 times. Actually, 20 times, but 15 times right now. Buy it 5 times, and that will level us up. Level us up to 33. As you see, we're close to level 34. So, buying destruction skill training five more times will push us over up until level 34 which will renew our skill training purchase rates again and then we'll be able to buy destruction skill training five times again how much is this all going to cost us it's going to cost us a whopping 28,000 gold all right and for all this only going to hang on to that gold but I won't be held as long as certain conditions much. apply all right I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment this is why I went to all this trouble to make sure I was totally ready for this um, you know with power potions and whatnot you know or with the ingredients to make power potions all right <laughs> poor for all the up and down up and down <laughs> we're not finished with yet okay up we go let's take a look at your goal take a look at your gold supply rather there we go 28,000 gold all right now, what happens if you leave the College of Winterhold? Let's just find out. Let's just make a little trip to the town of Winterhold, which is very close, okay? Very close. It's not far away. Winterhold and back again. That's like the shortest trip possible. Back to the College of Winterhold, or back to the Hall of Countenance, rather. Maribel does a fine job. And how much gold do you have now? Uh oh, looks like Feralda somehow spent 26,000 gold while we were away for what? The space of two or three minutes? Not even. Until next time. So this is why you want to stay here until you get all that gold back. Right, Lucky? That's why you're the boss, sir. That's why I'm the boss. Yeah. All right, as you were. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I also want to buy Grand Soul Gem. We're also going to be doing time. some enchanting. All right, once we get uh, enchanting skill up to 100, we're going to be doing some enchanting and making our new alchemy slash smithing gear, okay? Since we'll have enchanting up to 100, we'll be able to apply uh, two enchantments to each item, all right? After getting the extra effect perk, which you can only get once you get enchanting up to 100, right? So instead of having a separate alchemy and smithing gear, you know, a separate set, of, you know, an alchemy gear and a set of smithing gear. We can just combine them all in one. And on top of that, I'm going to add some items that are enchanted with uh, enchantments that are going to make business, you know, go a lot smoother, right? So it's going to be called our master gear, okay? I'll get to that later. For now, I just want to grab all the stuff that can be disenchanted, as you just saw me do. Everything that can be disenchanted, grab it now. Basically, uh, to save on carry weight, okay? Because I've got a whole bunch of weapons that I'm going to enchant, and I'm going to need all my carry weight, as much carry weight as possible. So get rid of this first, disenchant all this stuff. Back down to our wardrobe in our room. Now I want to dump everything off, including my old Destructo gear. Anything and everything. Probably the only thing I'll keep on board is the mixer's gear. Smithing gear can go. This is obsolete. We're going to be making better smithing gear. Combat gear goes in. Just keep the mixing gear on and the business gear. That's it. Okay, so our carry weight is down to a beautiful 33. I think I can make it even lower. 
dump off some of this stolen stuff here. Stolen junk. <laughs> there we go. Carry weight down to 27. Alright, now let's grab as many weapons as we can fit on board. Starting with the uh, most valuable weapons, the ebony bow and the orcish warhammer. And then everything else. Just grab everything else. Can fit on board one more steel dagger and Bob's your uncle. Let's go back upstairs and enchant all this weaponry. Two purposes are accomplished here. Or rather, two things are accomplished here. One is to level up enchanting, and another one is to make merchandise to sell back to Feralda to get her gold back. And I'm just casting the spell of fast enchanting here to speed things up so you don't have to like watch me grind through this. <laughs> it looks kind of neat. Some of you are asking, uh, how do I manage to complete the enchanting process without using the mouse? What you do is you press enter, R, and Y, okay? R, you might have to replace with the key that you use to sheathe your weapon, okay? So it's enter, the key that sheathes your weapon, and then Y. Y is for yes. That's how I complete the enchanting process, okay? Okay, so we got a whole bunch of enchanted weaponry that we can sell back to Feraldo since there's nothing else in our weapons um, list. We can just sell it all to her very quickly, so just very easily. And she's got the gold, so just grab it all back. There we go. And rinse and repeat, let's buy some more uh, filled soul gems. Common or less, common, lesser or petty, forget about greater or grand. It's been a pleasure. And you forgot the weapons, Slack. Go back and get the weapons, yeah, you're out of weapons. Yep, no more weapons. So refill on weapons. Take a sip of coffee. <laughs> ah, that's some good Joe. Yeah. Bright and early Wednesday morning, July 30th here in Montreal, Montreal Quebec. Beautiful summer day. What is it doing in your neck of the woods? Is it a nice day? Nice night? Post a comment. Okay, so we got a new batch of weapons. Now I'm gonna go see Colette. Refill on soul gems. I'm just kinda kinda guess. <laughs> yeah, let's creep Colette. Totally creep out Colette by standing at the foot of her bed almost naked, eh Lucky? Okay, so doing a soul gem count here. I believe I have 15 or 16. I didn't count along with. So you wish to master the arcane arts? And I know I took um, something like 20 weapons. <clears throat> Pardon me. So what I want to do is just take enough soul gems so that I can enchant all the weaponry that I have on board so when I take it back down to Feralda I can just speed sell it back to her without having to think about what weapon is enchanted and what is not enchanted okay so that's the point of that and cast a spell of fast enchanting here again and there we go enchanting up to 100 and in case you missed that, I'm going to go into the skills menu in a second and show you that. Okay, go into the skills menu slack. There you go. Leveled up again. Now we're eligible for some more uh, skill training to purchase some more skill training. There you go. Enchanting up to 100. Let's get the extra effect perk. Two ways to go to get it. This is the short route. The other route... Um, is actually pretty good. You can make like fire enchantments and frost enchantments and um, shock enchantments 25% stronger 
which is actually a pretty good route if you're willing to spend the extra perk points. All right. If you went that route, you'd be able to make a resist element, like resist fire, resist frost, resist shock items at 48% and above. So two such items would easily max out your elemental resistance for that particular element, which would be great. Going the short route, we won't, have, we won't be able to enjoy that, uh, those benefits. The most we'll be able to, like if we like maxed out uh, alchemy up to 100, we'd probably be able to make uh, resist element items up to about 41%. But I'm not going to max out alchemy. I, I really not at the moment. I don't have any specific plans to max out alchemy. So we're going to have to settle for 40%, all right? Resist fire, 40%. Resist uh, shock, 40%, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. And um, let's check out some new gear. Put on the college robes and this new hat here. Some gloves. Looking pretty spiffy, Lucky. Can I have some boots, Slack? No, no boots. Damn it. Yeah, so we're gonna have to settle for 40%. Uh, enchanting two items of each will bring that elemental resistance up to 80%, which is just five short of the uh, elemental resistance cap, 85%. So that's good enough. Okay. Mirabel does a fine job. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Got our business gear on, I hope. Quickly sell her back all those uh, enchanted weapons. And now that we, we leveled up again, we can buy even more mm -hmm. destruction skill training. So hey, why not? I can't wait to see who succeeds, Mirabel. Five more times, please. Let's bring it up to level 74. The target level is level 75, at which point we'll be able to use expert destruction spells, such as Incinerate and Thunderbolt, which are really powerful. Really powerful. So we're one short. That's no problem. We are now going to make our new, as I was saying, master gear. All right, this is a combination of alchemy and smithing gear. And later on, I'll add some items to make it like a combination of alchemy gear, smithing gear, and business gear. Okay, it's going to be really cool. I'll show you. So grabbing everything from, um, not everything, but rather some specific ingredients to make a few more fortify enchanting potions. All right, and I just want to make sure I have everything I need to do the enchanting, such as these grand soul gems. And I have all the apparel. I'm not sure why I'm taking on the smithing gear. Maybe to sell back to Feralda. Yeah, I'm taking stuff to sell back to Feralda. Although I didn't realize that uh, some of those... Uh, those plates and tankards are actually stolen, so I won't be able to sell them to her. It doesn't matter, they're just 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 chump change. All done, Slack? Alright. Davos Arn, take a look. Let's just make a small dent in her gold supply. I should have sold her the smithing gear. I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, we'll get around to that later. Until next time. Until next time. All right, now let's go make the, our master gear. Just making sure I have all the apparel: hat, clothes, gloves, a ring, and a necklace. It's all on board Slack. Don't worry.
It's all on board. Up you go. Got the Grand Soul Gems. Got the Blue Butterfly Wing and the Snow Berries to make uh, Fortify Enchanting Potions. Putting on the Mixer's gear. <laughs> There's so many things to remember, I swear. You may not realize it, but uh, whenever I make these walkthrough videos, pretty much for any walkthrough video I make for any game, I always have these notes on my laptop of all the procedures and strategies and whatnot that I'm going to be using in that video so that I can refer to it. And Skyrim requires a lot of note taking, a ton of note taking. Which is how my ebook came about. Um, yeah, I'll show you my ebook at the end of the video. I figured, hey, I got a ton of notes. Might as well put them to good use besides just making, you know. Okay, here we go. After making some potions of fortify enchanting and taking one, let's start enchanting our master gear. Starting with a hat, grand soul jam, alchemy, and lock picking since we can't put the smithing enchantment on or headgear, okay? So alchemy and lock picking. Uh, clothes, grand soul jam, smithing, and stamina. I was just looking at my list on my laptop. You can see me pausing there. Yeah. Cannot put the alchemy enchantment on clothes. So might as well have um, some extra stamina for our business gear so we can like run around further, which would be very, very great. Very useful for this walker, okay? I won't have to like use the cast the spell of fast stamina or instant stamina anymore because we'll have a whole bunch of extra stamina. All right, so here we go. Master jacket and master hat. Next. I believe I'm studying my, la my the notes on my laptop again. Hurry up, Slack. Potion of Fortify Enchanting, glug glug. I know what I was doing, I was just memorizing um, what I had to put on the next three items. And they're all alchemy and smithing, okay? So alchemy and smithing for gloves, alchemy and smithing for the ring, and alchemy and smithing for the necklace, okay? So it's a no-brainer. Grand Soul Gem, Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Smithing. Double check my work. Here we go. Creative potions can are now 26% more powerful. Stack that up four times and we've got creative potions are 104% more powerful. <clears throat> Pardon me. And the same thing with uh, smithing. Once we get all the smithing gear made, uh, weapons and armor will be, can be improved 104% more powerful once it's all stacked up, right? So one final item to make. Do a quick save. Potion of Fortify Enchanting. And it's the ring. Alchemy. And smithing. The master ring. Once again, naming all the items with the same prefix so we can find them easily in our inventory. And that is it. This is our new master gear. I'm going to add a couple of items to this. We're going to finally give Lucky some boots. Finally! Yeah. <laughs> Quite you. We're doing a walkthrough here. <laughs> and that is it for this video. Um, yeah. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And here's some more information about my ebook. Hey guys, want to build the kick butt destruction tank mage you see me using in this video? Well, you can get the entire walkthrough in ebook format. Skyrim Legendary Made Easy, the quick and dirty dark elf build. This includes a complete step by step game plan to produce a destruction tank mage made for legendary difficulty gameplay. Also, exclusive bonus content. 
The Alchemist Business Model Power Start. How to become filthy rich in Skyrim using my special list of power potion recipes. More bonus content. So you like to cheat, do you? The Eager Eddie Exploit build will show you how to use Skyrim exploits to create a ridiculously overpowered conjuration mage in under 3 hours. Fully tested in the latest Skyrim patch. All this in an easy to read, easy to navigate 160 page ebook. Skyrim Legendary Made Easy, the quick and dirty dark elf build. Buy it now for only $9.99. All purchases are processed by the 100% secure world-renowned PayPal payment processor.